Hello there, this is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. It is Thursday, June the 9th, 2022. Welcome to my channel. Um, I took a couple of weeks off. Uh, my mother died last month on the 6th. So I took a couple of weeks off, and but I'm back now. And I'd like to say thank you to the people that have been watching and subscribing in the last little while that I haven't been posting videos. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I do thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Leo? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading, will not resonate with every Leo out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Leo. Spirit. One of the deck, two of cups, soulmates, true love. First card out. The lovers, the lovers. This is Gemini energy, the lovers. Soulmates, divine counter counterparts. I like the lover's card in this deck because there's only two people in this card. We also have this heart-shaped um, silver commitment lockbox in the middle of them and the toothbrush or key with wings, the lovers. What is crossing this? The moon, the moon. This is Pisces energy. The moon, this talks about secrets, deceptions, masks being worn, and the truth coming to the surface. You could see the moon reflected in the water. Um, you could see her image reflecting in the water. Secrets, deceptions, masks being worn, and the truth coming to the surface. Consciously known, the queen of wands, queen of passion, queen of fire. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, wands are red in this deck. We got red flowers, a red sombrero. She's wearing a red shirt. She also has a candle and big hoop earrings. She is good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy and exciting. Queen of passion. Unconscious. Oh, the Three of Swords has been coming up a lot lately. Three of Swords. This is talking about a heartbreak. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. See, this person has it has his or her wand, or has his or her sword, sorry, on the ground, and this person's got two swords in this person's back. This is a heartbreak. Somebody broke your heart, somebody hurt you. Recent past. The judgment, the judgment. We have got um, these four people um, sitting together, all dressed up like they're dressed for a funeral. We got this creepy bird like thing behind, and this skeleton jumping out of the casket. It's talking about karma, karma, judgment. Not sure what to say about that yet. Near future. Then Nine of Pentacles, the single card. I'm single because I'm self-sufficient. I'm single because I can pay my own bills. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pentacles are coins, money. Look at this, like this person is drowning, or <laughs> rolling in money. Um, this person is independent, self-sufficient, divine. Independent, self-sufficient, sorry. Grounded, balanced, stable, business person, makes her own money, takes care of their money. Nine of money. I'm single because I can pay my own bills. Ah, thank you very much. Where do you find yourself? The eight of wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is rapid, passionate communication flying through the air. Text messages, messages on social media, messages on dating sites. Passionate, new, new, passionate communication. External influences. 
the six of pentacles six of pentacles pentacles are earth energy taurus virgo capricorn um this the the fact that there's a clock in this card uh makes me think that you need to live in the present do not live in the past do not live in the future live in the present i like the skull pendulum this also talks about wanting equal give and take in a relationship and of course why shouldn't you everybody does live in the here and now you want equal give and take in your relationship hopes and or fears ten of swords swords are air energy gemini libra aquarius this is the end of a very painful cycle all well, this heartbreak hurt you hurt you didn't it swords are air energy gemini libra aquarius swords are yellow in this deck we got red yeah yellow flowers a yellow background yellow flowers two skulls this is the end of a painful cycle this is like being stabbed in the back 10 times not the nicest card but the good thing about ten of sword is you've already been through the worst and things are only get, gonna get better from here on in end of a very painful cycle but the beginning of a new cycle overall outcome the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles pentacles are earth energy taurus virgo capricorn pentacles are coins money money's green so we've got green vines got a green sombrero a green shirt here's a sack of money the knight of pentacles knights are less mature than kings or queens the knight of pentacles is grounded balanced, stable a business person makes his own money takes care of his money but this is a very very slow moving energy step by step by step by step this person does have a solid offer they want to give you an offer they want to like ask you out but they are so slow moving i call this my friend zone card by the time they come and actually make you an offer you will probably have moved on already so that's why i call it my friend zone card this person is too too slow moving and on the bottom of the deck we got soulmates two of cups this is the true love card true love card this is soulmate energy cups are water energy cancer pisces scorpio cups are all about love We've got this blue background back here because water's blue. We got their be bright, beautiful red heart shining through their rib cages, heart shaped eyes and nose, and the water from his cup are, is literally spilling into her cup. I love it. This is my favorite two of cups. True love, soulmates. Six of cups. Cups are water energy, counter Pisces Scorpio. Six of Cups talks about friendship, puppy love, nostalgia, thinking back to a time when things may have been better or sweeter. Just make sure you're not looking at the past through rose-colored glasses. That's my problem with Six of Cups. Um, like I said when we had the Six of Pentacles, don't live in the past, don't live in the future, live in the now. So... Make sure that you're not looking at the past through rose-colored glasses. Five of Cups. This person is sad, pessimistic, heartbroken. You did have this broken heart here. This person is concentrating on these three spilled cups. Hurt, depressed, pessimistic. But once you heal after a broken heart you need to heal don't just rush into another relationship you need to heal because on the other side are these two cups of love but you have to heal first are the hierophant commitment commitment the hierophant talks about order tradition stability increase in the level of commitment in a relationship engagement marriage perhaps um he's got i like the back it's like a shower curtain or something i love the background he has got his black sombrero with white pom poms big long beard long hair spirit board 
commitment. And the two of wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wands are red. Uh, fire is red. We got a red background, red sombrero, red shirt. This talks about moving forward. Moving forward. So let's talk about choosing a path. And you may have to travel to see the person you are interested in, or you may have to travel for work. There's moving forward, choosing a path, and travel in that card. So we had the lovers, queen of passion, judgment. I feel like this is positive karma coming in for you. I'm single because I can pay my own bills. Passionate communication. Live in the here and now. Equal give and take. Soulmates. Commitment. Moving forward. Choosing a path. We had some secrets and deceptions that you found out. You got hurt. You got hurt. Um... You got this friend, friend zone that uh, is very, very um, slow moving energy. You got a heartbreak here. Don't live in the past. And work on your healing so that love can come in. Oracle cards. Card just jumped out. I don't take cards that jump out though. To the sea to the sea travel travel we did have travel in this two of wands card um it's like she's in a little bathtub um we've got like a telescope type thing and this is one of those uh wind vanes i think to the sea travel i see travel round and round and round Need to get off the roller coaster. This may have been a karmic cycle. Leave it behind. Not for you. Whoever this person was that broke your heart, they're not for you. And so, yeah. You need to move on. You need to move on. We've got a fortune cookie in here and a chessboard with chess pieces. Oops. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Well, there was a heartbreak there. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Well, I see you making good money. Maybe this person was kind of wanting. Maybe this person was uh, wanting your money. Maybe that's why they're gone. Majors. The judgment. Karma. This person might be getting their karma. I feel like things are going good for you, though. We've got... You got the queen of passion, the lovers, self-sufficient, soulmates, live equal give and take, commitment, positive karma for you. The tower, the tower, the burning tower. This person broke your heart. This person broke your heart. It was very, very painful for you. It was very painful. But now that this relationship has ended, you can rebuild the tower and i think that somebody is somebody a soulmate commitment is coming in don't rush don't rush take your time heal first there were secrets deceptions masks being worn you got your heart broken it was very very painful i feel like you've got 
someone to talk to, but I don't know how what this person's true intentions are. I think that they want more, but I don't think you think of them that way. Don't live in the past. Work on healing so that new love can come in. The lovers, you had to let this person go so that someone else could come in. Queen of Passion, Karma, Independent, Self-Sufficient, you make your own money, Passionate Communication, Live in the Here and Now, you want equal give and take in a relationship, Soulmates, Commitment, Moving Forward, Travel. To the sea, travel again, round and round. Need to close out this, close out that karmic cycle. This person was not for you, not for you. Pay attention to the red flags, heart to heart conversations, finances and career, karma, the tower. All right, so. I see someone new coming in for you. We've got the lovers, we've got soulmates, we've got commitment, queen of passion, passionate messages, equal give and take. All right, Leo, have a great, great rest of your day. Um, I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. Bye for now.